Hey guys, Park Doc Seal here. Welcome back to a brand new video. This is part 10 of our making a Discord bot in Python series. In this video, we'll be going over error handling with our Discord bot. Now, error handling is a very useful way to, well, as the name suggests, handle errors for our bot. Uh, we'll be going over two methods of error handling today, a uh, global method and a local method. Now, error handling with your Discord bot can be very useful. Uh, for an example, if uh, someone runs a command but doesn't actually have the required permissions to do so, they will uh, receive an error in the um, output log, but instead of receiving any output log, you might want it to send that error message to the channel that the command was ran in. Uh, this can also be done for people who do not fill in all the required arguments, and uh, several other different types of errors that you can do this with. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, start with a global error method. So to start out with that, we're going to type in client.event and then uh, let's see. Yeah. On command error. And then um, we can go ahead and. Uh, exit that and inside this block we just made we're gonna create some conditionals um, we're going to type in if is instance error commands dot and then here is all the errors that you can um, use most of these are errors um, a lot of these are going to start with missing, so just type missing, and here's all the errors that you can uh, put in. So if we want an error to be ran whenever uh, the person doesn't fill in for a required argument, we'll use that. If uh, the person does not have the required permissions when they run the command, uh, we can use this one here, missing permissions. But uh, for an example, we're going to use missing required arguments. And also, we, at the top here, uh, in our uh, function, we need to pass an error just like that. And after that, uh, we are pretty much good. And actually, we might want to pass in CTX as well. And after that, we can uh, do whatever we want the bot to do whenever... Uh, that error occurs. So we can uh, make an embed if we want, or we can type in await ctx.send missing required arguments. Um, we make it look pretty uh, neat. So error colon and then missing required arguments. Are you sure you provided all it's all required arguments? Oops. So just like that, um, we uh, now have an error message that will be uh, sent to the chat if a uh, command runs into a missing required argument command. Now, if you want to do one for permission, uh, you'd basically just copy and paste this. And the thing you'd change is uh, that to missing permissions. That also works. And of course, you might want to change the message up as well. But we're just going to stick with one type of error today. And now I'm going to run the bot. And if you remember this from my moderation video, we're going to use these as uh, examples. So uh, now the bot is running, and we're going to go to my test server here. And I'm going to just type in clear, but instead of putting a integer value like I am supposed to, uh, I'm just going to leave it as just equals clear. And as you can see, the bot um, will respond with error missing required arguments. Are you sure you provide all required arguments? So just like that, we have successfully made a global error system 
uh, for whenever our commands run into an error. However, while global uh, errors are good, they're not at all convenient. Uh, you might want the message to de uh, be different depending on the command that actually runs to the error. To do that, we'll be uh, using the local command um, error method. So uh, I'm actually going to run this again just to show you that if I do put an integer like 5, the command runs just fine. So uh, that's good. So I'm going to remove all of this now, because if you're going to use local command errors, you don't want to uh, use a global one. So just one or the other. So um, if your commands are in a cog, we are just going to go to our cog and then write the errors uh, either under the command itself or just somewhere. Uh, they can be wherever, as long as it, uh, the command is actually coded before the error. So I want to uh, make a clear error. So to do that, I'm going to type clear.error in the sync the clear underscore error. And inside here, I'm going to pass in self because we are working inside a cog, context or CTX. And then error again. And um, just like that, the same thing from then on. So if is instance, error, command stop missing, required argument, and then await ctx.send, error, missing, required arguments. You must pass in a whole number in order to run the clear command. So now if I go ahead and run this again, whenever we uh, run the clear command, so I'm going to type in ban, just equal ban like that. As you can see, nothing happens, although uh, sometimes you might get an error in your output. But if we type in just clear like that, we will now get a uh, error message for that clear command. Now, I want to add errors for all of my commands. So I got three other commands to do here, my kick, ban, and unban command. So I'm going to just copy and paste all of this because it's really just the same apart from names. So kick error, ban error, unban error. Now, uh, obviously you're going to want to rename the functions as well. Otherwise, uh, it won't work. So just like that. And, um, here we can have, uh, so for kicking a member, we can use their user ID or just their at mention. You must pass in a user ID or a at mention. And you can do this with embeds too, by the way, if you want to make your uh, error messages look pretty cool and nice. And uh, same thing for here, really. So a user ID or at mention. And then I'm um, going to make it look a bit nicer, make it look consistent. Change that to kick, change that to ban, and then change that to unban. Now with an unban command, since the member is no longer in the server, um, I'm just going to leave it as user ID because I don't think you can really mention a user in that server after they've been banned. So, uh, pretty much, we're just fine now. And, um, you can also add in more if it's instance statements. So, like that. And we can change this to missing permissions if we want someone who is not a moderator or admin 
ends up running that command. So uh, you can have multiple of these if is instance conditionals in a single error, by the way, guys. You don't have to write at clear.error again. So uh, just like that, we now have uh, these errors made for each of our commands. So I'm going to go ahead and run my bot now and make sure everything's good. All right, so uh, no errors. So if I go ahead and type in clear... We get that a uh, clear message, so missing required arguments, you must pass in a whole number in order to run the clear command. If I type in kick, we get our own error message for just the kick command. You must pass in a user ID or at mention to run the kick command. Ban, um, same thing, run the ban command and then unban. It only asks for a user ID. I uh, didn't mean to put A twice, but you get the point. So uh, that is how we handle errors for our Discord bot in Discord.py 2.0. Uh, we basically went over global command errors, which is the uh, at client.event thing I did in my main file. and went over local errors, which is what I've done in my uh, cog here for uh, moderation commands. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you need any help, or if you're stuck, or if there's problems with your code, uh, feel free to join my Discord server. The uh, link to that will be in the description. Uh, we all try to help as much as we can. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment, and tell me what you guys thought of this video. Bye bye